Good morning. Let's go drop this uh, totes of liquid chemicals. See what the day holds after that. Welcome to Maryland. We're open for business. Okay. A little river down there. The river runs through it. And we're taking exit one right here. We take a quick right, quick left, and there we go. Beautiful 57. Pines, 57 degrees out here. Trailer as far as we can over because that's a tight turn. 
and then we're gonna wait our turn. All right, let's get over here and see what we got. So we're proceeding slowly because I don't know if this gate was open already or not. There's a little chair over there to get some sun. There you go. Uh, but he pulled in and I just sat there for a little bit waiting, but the gate never closed. So I'm gonna proceed through. But this is EPS resin. It says Rust-Oleum out there on the outside, but maybe this is, is a division of stuff they need to make to paint in cans. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure I'm not pulling into those bays for the, uh, I think he's getting weighed right there. The bays for the tankers. But I don't want to make a traffic jam here. So I'm going to stay over here on the left and wait. Because I am pre-weighed. I got totes. Tank truck loading and unloading box truck loading and unloading straight okay so but there's a tanker right there what do i do with that do i go around them i think so but i'm not sure and it says exit also oh, he's okay wave me up all right this truck says hot do not touch that stuff flammable and hot no thanks for me Stay a little far left and get past him. We're good. All right, he's backing up. Okay. Okay, okay. We're learning the system here at good old EPS resin. Uh, there's another truck just like mine, but his are, uh, I don't know if his are full. No, that's just an empty trailer. Okay. Well, you know, this is going to be a fun back because we're going to need to use <laughs> the why they put this trailer right here. <laughs> we're going to have to use that uh, fence to open to get this thing out because I need to get my trailer around. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Why would you put that trailer right there? Okay, box. Uh, yes. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll, do, we'll make it happen. Get easy with a single axle. Uh, actually, turn this way. Single axle truck, but not the okay, single axle day cab. Oh, I couldn't think of it. Okay, back up again. I am barely getting past this end of the trailer right here, so I'm gonna leave her here. Luckily, that gate opens so I can get straight. And uh, we'll see what they want me or what they want me to do. Yeah, we're super. And the gate does open, so that's good. Let's go swimming. That's where they're hanging at? Yeah, thank you. How you doing? Middle yeah. door. Middle door? Okay. Yeah. Uh, what are you guys making? Is it part of Rustoleum? Yeah, no, well, we make stuff for Sherwin Williams. Oh, okay. Because it says Rustoleum out there and it's Sherwin Williams. Yeah. They're two, they're two separate. Two separate? Just yeah. competitors right next to them? Yeah. <laughs> years, 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 years ago, this was owned by Rustoleum. Okay. Now it's part took over, now Sherwin Williams owned There you go. So, Whatever. Yeah, moves, you can in there. Middle dock. Yep. All right, thank you. trailer awesome that will make it a lot easier to, to maneuver so I can go 
around and get my trailer back. But uh, let's open up our trailer and we're dropping off those, but ours are full. That's cool. Like, so Sherman Williams was all owned by a strong back in the day and Sherman Williams bought it or it was somebody else. I don't know. But this is what I'm talking about when you're, my, my trailer is hard to open right now because the truck's uh, on a slant. I talked about this a little bit earlier video. It only happens a lot when your truck's really weighted down. So I might wait till I get straight and then I'll open my doors. It kind of has like that sweet epoxy smell. Um, I don't know how to, flower, but also chemical. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but if you, once you, if you smelled it, you'd be like, oh, I didn't talk about it. Okay, middle door. He's pulling that trailer out here, so that's awesome. I'm gonna actually back up so I can come around this way so my back of my trailer is uh, facing an easier turn. Oh, wait, now he's backing that one up, okay. But he's putting it far over, so at least we have room to do something. That's all I can ask for. 64 degrees now. And this is gonna be fun. So it seems like they're ready for me. Get it off the truck. And now uh, we can go look for another load. Okay, let's do this. Come this way as far as we can and really swing that trailer around. And go out that I'm gonna have to go out that door. I mean, I probably could do it without going out that door. I'd just be going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> nice must. I like that that gunmetal gray. I like a little bit darker than that, but that's still pretty color. That guy's on his phone. So, all right, gate, open up for me, thank you, because I'm gonna use you. Use your extra real estate right here. I got, I got time. Let's have an Amazon, some Amazon distribution right here because we got a lot of these vans rolling around. Or maybe a lot of people right here just like ordering stuff. All right, so that gave me the extra proof to get my trailer over. Now we can go straight back into it. Try not to hit the gate, there we go. Simplified EPS. Looks like the Mustang got brand new tires. That's some blue on the sidewall. Okay. Got pretty good draw lines on the ground. You can still see them. That's decent. Most people have none. <laughs> All right, a little bit more this way, and we'll be good. a little hill too so you gotta use your brakes you don't wanna be slamming into the into the dock mm -hmm. right. Oops, there you go locked in I like that glove see some wheel chocks do, 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 do. Okay. Let's check out Truck Smarter why this guy gets his landing gear up. Uh, it's available in the App Store and look at the description for a link to uh, enter it. Okay, going back up north, New York, Massachusetts, Ohio. Eh, $700 to go to New Jersey or Ohio. Delaware for $600. Uh, the thing about being up here in the Northeast, you do, I don't want to really go back up any more further northeast there's more toll roads everywhere and i don't want to go over towards the 95 <clears throat> it's just ridiculously traffic thing there there's cleveland but see you got to go to baltimore to pick up that cleveland tennessee uh mondrovia might be one just get me back south a little bit new york new jersey indiana indianapolis look at that two dollars a mile Oof. Yeah. 
So and now the deadhead's getting a little bit extreme. Not extreme, but over 100, over 100 miles. Winston-Salem, that would bring me back south. Um, 350 a mile. Yeah. There's uh, Battleboro, North Carolina. But so it looks looking like a little bit of deadhead to get out of here. Or wait a little bit longer, or wait even till tomorrow. But I really got to be careful with the fuel these days. There we go. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay, we are good to go. Weird BOLs, but give me all three copies back. I'll take it. The more copies, the better. And there's no loads out here. <laughs> Nothing going down south. So we'll uh, go somewhere by some. Uh, there's a Walmart back in West Virginia. About halfway through it. You only spend about 26 miles in West Virginia on 81. And then if I go up north, I'm just getting further away from home. So I don't know. But going across to Ohio, going across to Indiana, it's kind of different uh, different roads, back roads. Not, not back roads, but not main interstate all the way. So I don't know what we're going to do. Let's see. It's 10 o'clock now. We're unloaded. <clears throat> Let's close our doors and get back towards the uh, highway and see what we got. Well then, we spent about two, two and a half hours on the load boards. Uh, no. <laughs> there was probably about two, three, maybe four loads that were okay. Uh, here's a couple of them right here on the left. But <laughs> all the way to Memphis for 800 or 800 miles for $1,100. <laughs> and then the other one uh, going to Villa Rica, that's on the other side of Atlanta. For twelve something, um, sorry, wrong, wrong turn. <laughs> that's that's parking ride. We're going next. Um, they said that they get they have like two weeks to ship it, so they're not going to move on. It was seven hundred some miles, twelve hundred dollars. But that would have took me by the house. But I said, hey, how about sixteen hundred on that? And it was a two day drop or two day trip. Just let me be home, you know. And uh, nope. They said, no, we're just gonna hold on for 12. We said, okay. And then the last load. Resource as much as we can. All 
also making a little money, money for the family, for the truck, for the company, for everything. So yeah, that's my little rant about that. Let's get down into Virginia again and uh, start rolling this 81. It'll be a lot easier. We're empty now, but that was a super easy drop. Would have been nice to get a little load out of that area. Lots of freight around here. But um, there is loads that are paying, there are loads that are paying decent, but they're going on the island in New York or they're going through the, all the tolls into Delaware. They're all going into the places that nobody wants to go to because of it. It's such a hard place to get to. So, all right, motorcycle. I hope you see my turn signal. He's about a truck length back. Yeah, he moved over. And I'm moving over for these guys who are doing some kind of digging and piping or something. enjoy 85 81 it's 72 degrees outside it's a beautiful day but uh we're just kind of in limbo seeing what we're what we're doing are we working are we not working what are we getting into and when will fuel go back to obtainable or will it always stay like this i don't know we will see that guy's enjoying it that guy's got good fuel mileage at least, at least somebody does but he's praying for good weather too So we stopped here at the Flying J, right into Virginia, and uh, check the loads one more time. And see, Robinson have a pop up right here. And so I kind of looked through it and said, hmm, it's going down the hard side of 26, not the easy side, but um, still, it's way better. It's like a deadhead there. It picks up all the way till midnight, and then it delivers right past the house on, on the eastern side of Atlanta, which is what you want. So. We booked it, I booked it right to the app, Truck Smarter, you can see, assigned a driver, and uh, they texted me and said, you're ready to go, so. It's getting more automated this, these days, but man, is it hard to uh, get a good load, so. We got it, it'll pay for our fuel plus some, and uh, we'll keep looking for something down there in the southeast, and it delivers later tomorrow, so I'll be home tomorrow morning, hanging with kids, get some stuff done around the house, trying to make some more money. San Ray Produce, that's a pretty cool Harley Davidson, uh, Paint job on that thing, I like it. <laughs> I like the chrome around the windows. That's cool. Beautiful truck. All right, let's get going down to Bristol. Our first way station, getting into Virginia. 40 miles an hour, but looks like no one's going 40 once again. Because we're going 45 right now. 43, 42, that is 40. Steadily approaching the back of this other truck. <laughs> Come on, guys. 40 miles an hour. 40 miles an hour. No? Okay. Alright. Okay. Looks like it's one for one. Are we gonna get the green or the red? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, okay. Stay green. Alright. It's <laughs> a big modular home over there. I wonder if they just wait for the nighttime. Is that what they do? With the oversize like that? It's not that big, though, but still. American dream, right? American, we 
kind of want to do. We've been very blessed in, in, since 2019, I can say, when we started to live this life where T-Dub's, T-Dub's always been a stay-at-home mom and I always worked two, two jobs or worked as hard as I could to make that happen. And then we came into trucking and it made it a little bit easier. The rates were epically high and now, now they're epically low. <laughs> so we did save a lot of money, but we really don't want to dip into that savings. We want to keep progressing, I guess, the word, and uh, setting up for their future and enjoying memories of them. So we're trying to do that. It's, it's, it's not scary. It is kind of like worrisome, but it's not scary. You just wonder what you're going to be doing with uh, the trucking industry, that kind of thing. But that we, we need to move stuff. We need to eat. We need to build stuff. So it's always going to be work. It's just kind of trying to figure out how to equilibrium the fuel price and the rate. <laughs> so it's worthwhile. It's worthwhile right now, barely, but I'm really working hard to find these loads. But I, of course, I try to get back home. So, And I try to stay out of the extreme northeast, the New York, New Jersey's, the Massachusetts, Maine. Uh, I try to stay away from that. Upstate New York just uh, it's a little bit a little bit rough with the tolls. They have so many toll roads up there. I don't know why so many hard places to get to because over time trucks have gotten bigger so they're harder to maneuver but yeah there's one way station we're gonna have i think two more through virginia maybe one more in virginia and then we'll hit tennessee because bristol we're it's in bristol virginia but it's right there on the border of bristol tennessee too so get some good scenery and we'll head down 81 try and get some good fuel mileage just try and Let's shoot for 7.5, 7.6. When we're empty, we can get close to 8 if we're sticking around 62 miles an hour. And that's good with the hood. But uh, loaded, we're 7.2, 7.1. About how much we're on the throttle. All right, 81, let's do this. So now, typically, my fastest way home is going to be to go down 77 into Charlotte. But to not be a completely wasteful deadhead home, trip um, just wasted I was gonna spend about three hundred fifty dollars in fuel just to dead at home uh, at the five at that's a five fifty a uh, gallon I'm paying like five forty so probably less but anyways um, I'm gonna go 70 more miles to Bristol it is gonna take me over a big grade going through uh, to get to Asheville down 26 and it's a heavy not a heavy load but it's not maxed out but it's heavy so we should be taking that 77 right there go through Charlotte but probably hit some traffic <laughs> Like you always do in Charlotte, but this way is also a way to get home, which is, is not as direct. So we're gonna take this, pick up at Bristol. We're gonna get there about 7.30, and uh, we can pick up to 11, so. That is my <clears throat> my game plan. It's beautiful out here though. It's 69, 70 degrees, and the green on those, everybody's just mowed their, uh, or bush hog, their uh, pastures and fields recently, because it's cut down, it's looking good. Cows are enjoying it. That is a cool house over there on the hill. I don't know if that's a house or a business, but it's pretty well architecture. If that's a word, that's a house. That's cool. Brick home. All right, so Bristol's where we're going. We're on the Virginia side. We're about 70 miles off. Might stop once put and uh, refresh again. Maybe pull the drone out and get a cool sunset shot. I don't know making good time and this will let us get home tonight and hang out with the babies in the morning.
but it dried pretty good. Um, there is a beautiful sunset that just happened, and we are exiting the next exit, Old Airport Road, to exit 7. Take a left, and it's a mile down, so let's do that. We got a little food, so we got here a little later. Uh, and we wanted to about an hour later. We're supposed to be here by 7.38. We're getting here 8.39. That's a pretty horizon, though. We have plenty of places to uh, stop, but we're gonna, we got plenty of clock to get back home tonight. We'll just get home late. And then I don't deliver till I think, 5.30 tomorrow. So, we will hang out for the morning and head off again like we did with that last load that delivered to Athens. I just wanted to show you the pretty little uh, Bristol, Virginia area. T-Dubs also lived here <laughs> for a little while. I think she lived here more than she lived in Christianburg, which is back then. Up 81. And there's Bristol, Virginia and Bristol, Tennessee. This food product. Actually, that road, once we go down it, dumps us straight in. We'll stick it to the left to the place we're supposed to go. I think I've been right here before. I have, yes. Right here on the right, I picked up like some, uh, right here on the right, I picked up, uh, they were like transistors. Transistor motors or something. Quality fast, yeah. I remember that, it was pretty cool people. Picked them up and took them all the way to Louisiana, I believe. Or maybe I delivered them here from Louisiana. I don't remember if I delivered here or picked them here, but I think I delivered here. I brought them all the way from Louisiana to here. I'll have to look back on the videos, but I don't know. There's UPS. Our, uh, 350 feet. This should be our left. Uh, da, 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 da. Thomas Road, okay. Doesn't say no trucks, so that's a good sign. There's a bunch of sprinter vans, Amazons. Wrapped ones and non-wrapped ones. Straight in front of us is where we're going, so. Let's see what we got. Little dips right here. Bloop, bloop. Truck entrance. Oh, okay, a bunch of trucks are right there. Okay. That is where we're going for sure. What is these signs say? I don't like it's stuck anywhere. It looks like it's pretty tight quarters back there. Drivers park and staging area. Okay, okay, okay. We shall do this. on 
this side next to this reefer trailer. Works for me. I guess that's the office right there, straight ahead. I'm not sure. Looks like it would appear to be. And it looks like I might be here for a while if there are seven other trucks waiting. But hey, it gets us a load, so we're not just deadheading for free. And I'll just sleep here and head home early in the morning. Okay, we made it. Uh, let's see what we got. Let that oil cool down on that motor. Go check in. I've been there. I wish I was. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your dinner, man. What are you guys making here? Uh, potato chips. Like just Rome brand? Or like uh, great value, oh, all the Walmart stuff? Okay, yeah, exactly. sweet. There you go. Um, I got a 210 number if that helps. 210-52820. Uh, Monroe. That's it. Takes them by the house, lets me go home tonight. So, you guys are pretty busy though. Every one of those waiting to get loaded? Okay, cool. Because I, I got twin 125 tanks, so. Oh, you what? Yeah. Well, I. What's that? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 9,000 pounds. My last one was 42,000 going up to Maryland, but off 81. I wasn't like Baltimore side. I was, it was, it was an easy load, but that truck likes to drink fuel when it's heavy. This one would be nice. Down the hill, get me home. There you go. Fine. Cool, man. Thank you, brother. Well, that'll wrap this video. Uh, generic chips like off-brand so walmart chips i am okay with that because that's going to be really light because it said thirty-five thousand, but a lot of times brokers will just put a random number because they don't know so that is awesome and i was worried all these trucks were uh, waiting to get loaded but all of them but one are already loaded they're just getting a reset so that is awesome that apu is a little bit noisy need to get a green apu on there but uh god bless you guys I'm going to get this truck in the door five, lay my head down for a little bit, and I got about a two-hour run the roll boat doing. I'm just talking and filming. That's a nice truck. You what? So I'm just talking and filming. That's a nice truck. Yeah, your truck? Yes. I had a 670 before. Okay. I wanted the 780, but they're, they're too expensive for me at that time. Now I got the giant gas coast. Oh, this thing is not a uh, It's a gas coast right there. Yeah. Well, have a good night. Get some sleep. Take care. She was the one that was talking about her. Uh, she didn't want to go under five miles an hour to reset her 
clocks just want to drop a trailer. So. That's it, guys. God bless you. We're going to make some fuel money and a little bit extra on top of that. Beautiful sunset tonight, by God. And uh, let's pray to have a good load again tomorrow after we drop or later in the night we drop. So probably Wednesday we'll get a load. But we'll get home tonight. See you in the next one.